Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today is the big day. We're taking our road trip down to North Carolina. So in the garage, I'm gonna get, we got some pretty big pieces of luggage here. Gonna get that loaded up. The car just finished charging. Uh, it's at 100%. Well, it's weird I have the limit set to 100, but there's a tiny little gap in the battery. I'll put a screenshot and it says charging complete at 305 miles. I mean, no big deal. The five miles, I don't think will make a difference, um, but let's get loaded up. All right, so you can see in the trunk, we got one huge suitcase in. And then down in the floor, we got all our food. We're renting a house uh, in North Carolina, so we're bringing a bunch of food with us. And then the other suitcase should fit right here. And we'll have a little extra room on the sides. Of course, we've got the frunk. That's where I'm gonna put uh, the charger. All right, so here's how we got the two giant suitcases to fit. The one is just laying down. And then this one, I had to squish a little bit. There's this bar here um, that was kind of getting in the way, but they both fit fine. All right, so I forced the car to charge a bit more. You can see charging completed at 306 miles. And even on the in-car display, I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you the screenshot in the app, but the battery's not full. It just wants to be done charging, which is fine. All right, back seat. We got the cooler and I'm using the dog cover. I don't know, it might be hard to see, but I'm using the dog cover uh, to kind of protect the back seat. All right, so we're just about ready to go. Uh, here's the frunk. I have a big extension cord here, just in case. I don't know what the charging situation is at the house. Um, this is the mobile charger, and I was gonna put it in this bag, but it's a lot bigger than I thought. So just in the bag is um, the plugs for the 1450, and then the normal wall plug, and the J adapter, but probably won't use that. Okay, we're heading out. We have a trip set from Michigan to North Carolina, and then we're gonna put our destination in. Um, I just wanna see kind of what the Tesla routing does, but we're gonna navigate ourselves to the different superchargers according to a better route planner. So the Tesla routing is figuring out how we're gonna get there. It's taking it a good amount of time. It's a long trip, so it calculates kind of where you need to stop at the, at the different superchargers to make it to your destination. Okay, so the Tesla routing has a stopping, it looks like three times. Um, the first stop is actually the same one we're gonna actually go to for a better route planner, so that's good. Um, but then after that, it's having us only stop twice, which uh, might seem like less time than the five times we're gonna stop, but it actually ends up being faster if you charge more often and don't charge for very long. So they'll probably have us go to this supercharger and stay there for like an hour or something crazy. Uh, and same with this one, they want us to be at this supercharger for an hour. Whereas the way that we're gonna do it, we're gonna stop at the first supercharger for, I think we only need to be there for 20 minutes or so um, to make it to the next one. So Stephanie brought up a good point. Um, the Tesla routing is saying 15 hours and 58 minutes, which isn't actually that different from what a better route planner said. Uh, so I'm almost tempted to do do it, but we'll do our, our pre-planned route. Because I already, I checked out all the superchargers we're stopping at to see, make sure they have food and, and bathrooms and all that. Yeah, we don't want to end with 9% battery. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. That's the other thing is we don't want to end at our destination with only 9% because we don't know when we get there how the charging is going to be. So that's why I brought like the, the extension cord and all that stuff. Um, so I'm planning on ending our trip with around 50% battery. So just in case there's no way to charge, which I can't imagine, but you never know, I can then go to a supercharger or whatever if I need to and, and come back. So it's a little weird charging so full. Uh, I'm not used to it because you lose all your regen. So now when I'm letting off the pedal, the car's not slowing like I'm used to. So it's really strange. nice that all of our stops are like already planned out because normally when you go on a road trip you're like oh we're running low on gas and you gotta look at what exits have a gas station coming up and even though there's gas stations everywhere it still requires thinking and planning but now it's just like oh we already know where we're going and when we're gonna stop I don't know. 
It might. All right, we've been going an hour and 40 minutes. We're gonna get off here at the service plaza just for a minute, and then we'll be back on the road. Does that freak you out at all? 100 miles? No, 100 miles is a lot. I don't know, every time like this is less than like 200, I'm like panicking. Because <laughs> like my phone, like less than 70%, I'm like, oh no, I need to charge it. It's a good thing you didn't get the short range. <laughs> yeah, we'd You'd already. you panicking a lot. Is it on the left or right? Looks like it's on the right. Oh yeah, I see it now. Thunderbolt. I just was the traffic lines were confusing oh. me. I thought it was like I'm gonna have you do a turnaround, but I'm like, there's no look, sheets. That's there it. it is. Alright, we're pulling up to our first supercharging stop. If we continue to our next one, we'll be at minus fifty-eight percent. So we better plug in. <laughs> I don't think that would work. No. A lot of regen. Look, there it is. Where? Oh yeah, nice. Got yeah, one more Model 3 here, and that's it. So I'm gonna pull in. We'll take this one on the end here. They got the white seats. Cool. There will be significantly less energy if your battery gets cold. We're at 61 miles left. All right, let's plug in. funny watching it yeah Flick back and forth <laughs> yep well we're messing it well actually we're not um, so is it good or does it need more time what do we have 228 yeah we're like almost done actually no yeah what did uh, I think we're getting I don't remember at it all 223 so we're freaking done already oh my gosh that was so fast all right let's <laughs> just really quick do you mind no I don't mind okay as long as I can kind of open this food <laughs> <laughs> that's fine <laughs> okay, really quick. I wanted to like have us. We're charging right now. I wanted to have us kind of like just talk about the first part of the trip. But the charging's done. We went inside. We used the bathroom. We got some food. We <laughs> walked around for a minute, and like the car's ready to go. We didn't even have enough time to do everything we wanted. So it's good. I mean, you don't want to sit here and you know be waiting for the car to charge. But whatever. It was um, too fast. It was too fast. So slow it down. Really quick. Autopilot worked very well on the way here. The only thing, I have one annoyance, and I think Stephanie has one. Mine is when the lane opens up, and I've complained about this in other videos, stop centering in the lane. It is so annoying. That's my only complaint. What about you? What is your suggestion? My complaint is that Tesla likes to ride in people's blind spots. And, like, you can tell, like, they want to get over to pass a truck, maybe, and you're in the left lane already getting ready to pass that truck, but they can't because Tesla's just, like, cruising there. And, like, my brain, I would want to, like, speed up a little so that they could get in or let them in because it's just a courteous thing. Like, it's not necessary. Yeah. So, in the future, I agree, it needs to be updated so the car won't sit there. So, we're going to go. We want to get to the next stop. Maybe also, we'll talk some more. Also, we understand that Tesla's brain... Is not quite up to our. Yeah, it's not there like yet. I, gotta, I, I well, want it to be. That's the best it, part: is the car will get updated one day, and then it'll do that. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Okay, so we're taking off to the next stop. We have more miles than we need. It's kind of ridiculous. So I'll see you there. <laughs> already, how many more miles? It already got. Just, yeah, it's crazy. Just from talking. All right. Do you? You probably want to wait to get on the highway, and I'll hand you your food. Yes because then you can use both of your hands. So yeah, it wants us to go to this one. And it says we'll have negative four if we go now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel this one. North Huntington, Pennsylvania, that's the one. So if we navigate there, let's see, it'll say we have 16% left, which is exactly our target was to have 15% left when we get there. Um, so we should be good. So I'm gonna unplug and we'll continue. So 15%? Is it gonna be? Yeah. That doesn't make you nervous. No. no. 
Hear that? That's the car cooling off. It's hot from charging. Okay, so no, 15% is good. And you know, the other thing is, if if we um, weren't gonna make it, we weren't gonna have enough time, or enough uh, energy, one, the car will just tell you, hey, slow down a bit so you can make it, or two, there are other chargers on the way. Um, so we're not gonna be stranded. If we wanted to stop a little earlier because we're not comfortable, then that's what we'll do. Car. Yay, that was that was a great experience. Yeah, that was way better than pumping gas. It did <laughs> all for us. And this was free. Oh, I didn't even talk about that. So I've since starting the channel, I've had a few people use my referral code. Thank you if you're watching. I really appreciate that. One person so far has actually taken delivery of their car. So during May, their the uh, the credit for supercharging is times five. So you actually get five thousand miles of free charging. Um, but the person took delivery last month, so I have a thousand miles free. So our whole trip there will be taken care of. That'll all be free. Um, actually, if we look here, so yeah, zero dollars um, is, is what we spent last time. Um, so the whole way there will be free. I'm hoping that during this week, while we're in North Carolina, one more person will take delivery, and then we'll have some more miles, so the whole trip home will be free. Um, but even if they don't, we'll only have to pay for, I don't know, a couple hundred miles. Um, so that's an, another awesome bonus. We're not paying anything for fuel. So I don't feel bad buying this sandwich. Oh, gosh. Let's hit this. Come on, Ohio. Acting like Michigan. A bomb went off on that part of the road. Okay, we're past that toll. We're getting to the next supercharger with way too much power. <laughs> so when we left the last supercharger, it said we'd arrive at this one with 15%. That was our goal, and that slowly crept up over time, and now it says we're gonna get there with 21%. So we gained five or 6%. Um, I don't know if the wind is at our back or what. Don't you wanna go left? I don't know if the wind is at our back or what, but we're uh, driving efficiently. Um, no problem. Shouldn't, shouldn't really matter. It's just this stop is going to turn from a 15 minute stop into a 10 minute one. And again, we're not going to have time to even do everything we want, uh, which is fine. That's, that's good. We don't want to have to wait for the car. Um, we'll just rack up some extra miles here at the sheets and we'll be good. Sorry, I'm following the GPS. Yeah. There's a Tesla. Look at this blazer at the Tesla station. What is he thinking? Oh, model three friend. Oh, he doesn't care. I tried to wave at him, but he was like, nobody cares about you. So we got one icer here, this blazer in the Tesla spot. What's an icer? Ice is an internal look combustion. At, look at this. What the heck? This guy's like... Ice means internal combustion engine, and when an internal combustion engine car parks in a charging spot, we call it iced. So it's not that big of a deal right now. I mean, these are all open. There's literally nobody charging, but... It's still kind of dumb and annoying. Like, what are they it's doing? It's just funny that another one rushed over there. Okay. We're parked. Stephanie's plugging this one in. Let's do it. Your first time supercharging. So hit the... There you go. Hit the but, uh, Hit the button. No, on the... I mean, you can hit it on the door, too, but... There you go. Nice job. That's it. I did it. Mm-hmm. Just sides. But it didn't even pick like meat. Okay, so it's a burger. Yeah. They don't have a bunch of meats. Ten minutes yeah. tops. All right, we're heading out. We were here charging for I think ten minutes, um, and again, we're gonna get to the next stop with twenty-one percent. Um, 
the goal was to arrive there with 15%. Um, so we're getting out of here. I mean, the car has been ready before us both stops now. So it's pretty nice. Um, we had 888 free miles of supercharging left when we arrived here. Um, so the app will update to reflect it in a few minutes or something. And um, we'll have plenty of miles again to make it there. And that's it. We're off to the next charger. Alright, stop number three is up here on the right. This is, uh, I guess, our longest one. But, again, we're coming in with way more. We're at 24%, and we were planning to arrive with 15%. But, again, we haven't even had to think about the time. We just leave when we're ready, and the car always has more miles. And the whole time, we've been using less miles than estimated, which is great. So here's our busiest one yet. Two Teslas are here. We're going to get into this. Oh, that one's handicapped with that. That's weird. So there's a handicap sign on the stall. I'm like now screwing everything up. Okay, there we go. I don't see how it's handicapped. It's the farthest one away from... Yeah, it's pretty but weird. It's like got like van accessibility, but Teslas yeah. don't have... Model X, maybe. You never know. That's true. I'm going to plug in. All right, we're at our third charging stop in Breezewood. We actually arrived with uh, 21 or whatever, a lot higher percentage than, than we thought. But, you know, I was like, okay, I can sit down, update everybody. Uh, I'll have, you know, probably a few minutes after we eat and, and everything. And it's done, the car's done, like, we finished eating. And I was like, all right, let me see. It's probably almost there. And it was at, I mean, right now it's at 244 miles. We only need 226. And when I looked, when the car was done, it was at like 235. I mean. It charges so fast. It's just, I don't know, it's not an inconvenience at all. We would have made these stops anyway. I suppose if you're just like trying to get somewhere instantly, you know, having to stop here for 15 or 20 minutes might be a bit of an annoyance, but I'm just blown away. Um, but so while I have a second, uh, it's been great so far. Autopilot has done pretty much all the highway driving. I'll take over here and there to pass sometimes. Um, the car will pass, but Sometimes I just like to do it myself. It's a little faster and easier. I don't have to wait for the car or anything like that. But when there's not many cars around, which is most of the trip, it just, the car stays in the lane. It does the speed for you. I mean, I'm just relaxing. I'm not doing much more than Stephanie is in the passenger seat. Um, I'm just making sure nothing is coming up ahead. Um, which, you know, even when you're in the passenger seat, you kind of are paying attention anyway. It's, it's very similar to that. But so far the trip's been really fun. Uh, it, it's, we're more than halfway there and I'm like ready to go. It's awesome. All right, just a quick check-in. This is after our third charging stop. We're more than halfway done. I feel great. I've been driving the whole time, letting Stephanie relax. Um, I am not fatigued at all. I'm not tired. I could do this for another 10 hours. I say that now. I don't know how I feel in 10 hours. We're not using very much power. I mean, 211 watt hours per mile is really low, and this is the all-wheel drive. We have the aero wheels on, so those are efficient, but the all-wheel drive usually uses more um, energy it does it uses more energy than the rear wheel drive um, but with this kind of efficiency we're gonna make it really far so here's from the morning over 500 miles this is how much energy we've used a full battery is about 73 kilowatt hours so we've used a, around a battery and a half uh, more than that and then this is our efficiency which is pretty good the rated efficiency is 240 uh, we've been going three to five miles per hour over the speed limit the entire time um, so efficiency has been really good. I don't know if we're going downhill or uphill or what, but um, 
I'm really happy with the trip so far. It's very easy to do. All right, so we made it to the fourth stop. We're at Wawa, which is funny. I've never heard of that, but it's just a gas station. It's just like Sheets, the three previous stops. Uh, the Yi, my little action camera that you see most of the driving point of view from, is full. The, the card's full. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to put my phone up there um, so it'll look a little different. But that's fine. Um, we're doing pretty good. We're actually going to get there, I think, a little early, which when does that happen on a road trip? but that's exciting. The charging, we've been driving more efficiently than uh, what the route planner showed us. So all the charging has been faster than we expected. Um, so it's been good, it's been fun. I'm more tired now, so I take back my 10 hour comment. <laughs> I'm not ready for 10 more hours. Um, but overall, it's been great, it's been a lot of fun. So at Wawa, this is our first stop that I've actually had a minute to kind of sit down and look we're not eating or anything um, so here is from the last charge um, this is our efficiency and everything I mean that is really efficient for the all-wheel drive especially it's great here's our trip overall so we've gone 610 miles so we got about 200 miles to go we've used over two full batteries worth of energy and here's our efficiency we're almost at uh, this is not focusing uh, 258 is almost the rated efficiency of the car so we'll head out in a few minutes. We need to be at 195 or so, and then we got one more stop. It should be about four more hours and we'll be done. You all right? Why is it hilarious? This is Wawa milk. All right, we're at the last stop. We got our Wawa milk from <laughs> Wawa. There's a Wawa here. Um, on the list, it just said Walmart and something else. It's all kind of far away. Um, sorry, I know it's, it's dark here. It's now nighttime. Um, if I turn this around, you can see we're not really near anything, um, and it was a little treacherous. It was a little treacherous getting over to the Wawa. We had to like cross the street. It was kind of weird, but um, it's fine. We're here now. When we pulled up, the supercharger was actually full, and we were a little worried we were going to get the reduced charge rate. Um, but when I checked the app as we were walking, full charge. Uh, here that is. I should just turn the camera around, but that's our full charge rate right there. So we need to get to 72 per 72%, which is like 220 miles or so. And then we'll be out of here. So uh, we're later than we thought. I spoke too soon at the last stop. There was an accident that we got caught in. Um, oh, and I'll give you one last update. Well, second to last update, I'll just read it to you. Um, our Michigan to North Carolina stats, 747 miles so far, 190 kilowatt hours and we're averaging 254 watt hours per mile, so really efficient. All right, well, see you at the final destination. All right, we made it. Before you get to go in, I need to interview you. Okay. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I was kidding, we're, we'll do it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's the next day. <laughs> I was gonna try to make a video that night um, just give the impressions of the day and stuff, but we were exhausted. Ended up taking about 17 hours to get here. Um, but as far as the car, the Tesla, supercharging, uh, like using an EV for such a long road trip, it was awesome. Um, it was kind of nice to have the route pre-planned. We did stop once before our first charge. Um, but then after that, we just stopped when the car needed to stop. Um, and only really on the last one, the last supercharger stop, uh, we waited for the car to charge just a little bit. I think we spent maybe 10 minutes in the car or so. And that was, again, only because I didn't know the charging situation at our destination. So I wanted to get some charge uh, in the car so that when we parked here, we had enough battery to kind of make it away um, to get to at least some kind of plug nearby. But uh, we do have charging here. I plugged it, the mobile charger inside on just the 110, the small, small, normal outlet that you'd use for any anything inside. Um, and I just put the charger out the window. <laughs> so that's pretty funny, but it works well. Um, actually, no, let's be real. It doesn't work that well. It's really slow. So right now we're charging at three miles an hour. So since I plugged in this morning, uh, let's see, it's 11 a.m. now. I think I plugged in around nine. 
um, we've gained eight miles. So that's four, four miles an hour average so far. So that's really slow. We have 139 miles on the battery, um, but we don't plan on doing a whole lot of driving most of the time. And we already found a restaurant that has a charger that we'll probably go to at least once so we can charge there. Supercharging is kind of fun. Uh, it might sound weird. And maybe just because it's novel, it's not something I do very often. I, I did kind of enjoy just kind of plugging in, you know, hanging out at the supercharger a little bit. Uh, it, it didn't, I'm sure it added, you know, maybe an hour or two to the trip, but it didn't feel that way. You know, that's kind of the key. It was fun the whole time. So I did all the driving. You know, Stephanie didn't even have to drive. She offered, but I said, no, nope, I want to drive the Tesla. <laughs> and then the Tesla just did most of the driving anyway. Um, autopilot was on for uh, more than 95% of the highway. I didn't intervene uh, very much. I did a few lane changes because it was being a little slow for those. At the second or third charging stop, it was pretty interesting. We had two separate people ask about the Tesla. The first guy was actually blocking a bunch of the charging spots, which was funny, um, but we were the only car there, so it didn't really matter. And he was like, hey, how long does that thing take to charge? And I was like, oh, I'll be here, I don't know, probably 20 minutes or so, and then we're off to the next one. And he goes, wow, that's not bad at all. And another uh, set of guys, uh, they were in like a big work pickup truck, uh, came and parked in front of the, the car. We were getting ready to leave, and they were just asking, you know, in general about the car. They were more curious about how much it cost us to travel, um, like in fuel. And so we told them, oh, it was free, <laughs> you know, and I, I explained it's not always free, um, but, you know, and I told them it probably would have cost, you know, 20 or $30 if it wasn't free. They just, they thought it was really cool. For whatever reason, like kids love these cars. You'll always see kids um, staring at the cars, pointing at the cars. Uh, it's, it's a pretty funny aspect that I didn't, you know, think about. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. Uh, leave any questions below. Happy to answer them. Uh, overall, highly recommended. Do a road trip in an electric vehicle. Now, do a road trip in a Tesla. It is awesome. It's fun. It's easy. Um, it'll be great. All right. See you in the next one.